Hey everybody, me Joe with rcgroups.com. So today we're going to be checking out the high-tech RDX4 multi-port multi-chemistry charger. This charger is capable to run on AC at 100 to 240 volts. Uh, it comes with the AC cable here and it's also capable of running on DC from 11 to 30 volts and it comes with the uh, cable here that plugs into the XT60 port on the back side. Uh, this charger is capable of charging up to four points at 100 watts uh, per channel at 10 amps. And it's also Bluetooth compatible. So this will hook up with the HiTech um, high -tech Charge Master software and the HiTech Link Power X app. So you can run it from your PC, Mac, or your smartphone. Um, it has the ability to do balanced standard storage and cycle for all lithium battery chemistries has a battery resistance meter. It also has terminal voltage control and peak charge mode and delta peak sensitivity for nickel metal hydride and nickel, uh, uh, nickel cadmium batteries. Um, it also has the capacity shutoff, which is a safety feature. And it has a built-in power supply function for powering devices up to 27 volts at 10 amps. So let's take a look at what we get here. Uh, we already showed you it comes with the cable for AC. It also comes with the adapter to charge off of a 12 volt battery. Um, if say you wanted to charge it off a of DC, you could simply charge your battery or plug your battery into the back and that would supply your DC in. So like if you were charging some uh, smaller packs, you could run it off of uh, another pack, you could run it off a of 12S, whatever, whatever you felt like you could, could use, you could plug into the back here and that could power your charger. Uh, it doesn't really come with any cables, so I would recommend grabbing some balance boards. And I would also recommend grabbing some of these uh, 5X cables. I actually picked these up from Progressive RC and it gives me the ability to come from uh, XT60 and charge uh, EC3s, EC5s, Deans, and a few others in there uh, just to give it a little bit more versatility. I like the fact that the XT60s are right in the front and you can just plug them in. That's going to save you some space with cables. But if you're not running XT60s, uh, one of those multi-cable adapters would be a, a good idea. So let's take a look at what we got here. You can see right here, because we're flashing, we're set up on uh, channel A right now. So I'm going to plug this battery. Uh, this is my A Power 2200 milliamp 3S LiPo. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the side here. One of the nice features about this charger is it automatically detects what battery I have. So if I go in now to uh, channel A, you can see it's already selected. This is a 3S LiPo, and right now we're set up for a balanced charge. Uh, right now you can see I have 3.8-ish around each cell, so the pretty, pretty well balanced pack. I can go over here to the battery resistance meter if I need that. And if I click the button in the center here, I can go into my menu where I can select all the different options. So if we didn't have a LiPo, we could go in here and select what we needed. You can select your different count cells. This will charge all the way up to 6S. You can tell what task you want it to perform. You can charge, you can storage, you can discharge. You can check what the condition is where you want it, 4.2 volts is healthy for this pack. You can set the charge current. Now what I normally do when I charge my LiPos is I discharge it at the recommended setting. Uh, HiTech does a really good job of making sure that's in there as a safety feature. You don't want to overcharge your packs uh, because that's how packs go bad quickly. I literally have packs that are 10, 12 years old that still work just fine and I always charge at the recommended settings. Um, if you need to charge faster, my recommendation is to buy more packs. Uh, it just helps for the health of the pack just to charge it right at what it says and go from there. And then I can go ahead and I can hit start on this pack. So there now that you can see that it's going. One of the cool features that we talked about was this uh, app. So let's go into the app here. And you can see 
I am all set up. You can see that it's charging. It's a lipo. It's three cells. Uh, you can see that it's put going, going to put them to 3.84 volts. Everything's there. Battery fuel gauge. This one's charged at 49% right now. Uh, you can see the temperature. This is really handy. So you can monitor your charging uh, from your cell phone. You can also use the master charger software and be able to uh, monitor it from a PC or a computer as well. Uh, but this is really handy that it's Bluetooth. So I can go in and if I wanted to stop it remotely, I can just hit stop and you can see that it's stopped charging. I really like that feature a lot. I, I charge primarily in my shop. I have a battery safe bag. I also have a, a station set up over here uh, where I charge my packs. Uh, but if I'm charging in my trailer or anything like that, I can monitor what I've got going on and vice versa. If I want to start a charge, everything's set up there just perfectly and I can hit start and you can see the charger starts right up. It's very nice to have that feature available. Uh, the Bluetooth actually comes in really handy uh, for different situations. So now while that one's working, I can go ahead and switch over to port D. So what I'm going to do with port D is I'm actually going to use uh, one of my multi cables from Progressive RC uh, to hook this up because my other pack that I'm going to use is a pulse pack and my pulse pack actually has um, an EC5 connector on it. So this is going to be a pulse 3300 success and you'll be able to see here I will plug it into my board. I will plug it into the connector and if I'm over in port D, you can see it's already switched to 6S. It's going to be a balanced charge. Hit start. And it's on its way. So you can charge in multi ports. So you have four ports, which is nice to have in a charger this size. And you can charge any chemistry that we use in the hobby um, all the way through to nickel metal hydride, um, lifeies, all of that can all be charged from right here. You can check your ports, see what's going on. You can view everything through the app. There's your resistance per cell. And good to go. Well, gang, that about does it for the high-tech RDX4. My final thoughts on this charger, for a charger of this size, which is quite small, to have multi-port, multi-chemistry capabilities, um, is pretty amazing. High-tech has definitely hit it out of the park on this one, and I would recommend this charger to anyone for all your charging needs. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.